it is my honor to present the first demo, Safe Space. I was just messing with her. <laughs> um, so before I get started, uh, I want to uh, make this introduction. So this right here is my daughter, Cadence. She is 11. <laughs> see, I'm, I'm all of the mindset of like exposing young people to things that they might not be exposed to early on so they can see themselves in that position when they get older. So I'm hoping um, that everybody in here can give her a high cadence on three, one, two, three. What's up, mini demo? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to dive into this. So, um, so to bring you into safe space and what safe space is, I got to tell you a quick story, and this is a real life story. So um, this actually happened on July 6, 2016. It was like a great day for me. I was out hustling. I was out working, and it was, it was a long day, though, and I am the type of adult that loves to take naps, and I have no shame in that. It gives me life. Um, so at 6 p.m., I decided to take a nap. Um, yeah, who does that? Uh, so I wake up at about 9 o'clock, and when I wake up at 9 o'clock, <laughs> I do what most people do. Like, they roll over, and they grab their phone, and they hop on social media. So I hopped on social media, I hopped on Facebook first, and when I hopped on Facebook first, I scrolled, and I seen this Facebook Live video, and there was an image that looked something like this. So, for anybody that isn't familiar with this image, this is Philando Castile shortly after he was shot by law enforcement. So, like, when I seen this, this really hit home for me. So, I'm not going to embellish my relationship with Philando, but there is a connection there. See, Philando grew up in St. Paul. I grew up in St. Paul. Philando went to St. Paul Central. I went to St. Paul Central. He graduated just two years before I did. If we saw each other, we would say, what's up? We were those type of acquaintances. As adults, he got into education. I got into education. He literally worked at a school that was about eight blocks away from the school that I worked at in St. Paul. So you got to understand that when I saw this, I was like, whoa, this is real. Like, because I knew he was a good dude. And then it made me reflect, like, well, I'm a good dude. My friends, my family, people I kick it with are good dudes. Like, it made me scared because it was real to me. I'm like, if this can happen to this good dude, it can happen to good dudes that I'm familiar with, or it can happen to me. Right? So it really made me move forward. Like, you have to do something to, to disrupt this. So fast forward, um, I had the pleasure to meet and then work with an awesome team at Software for Good. Like, they've been everything. They, the partnership has, has been so instrumental in bringing this together, and, and without them, like, we wouldn't be here today. So I do want to give Software good, for Good a round of applause, please. <laughs> so what did we build? This is Safe Space. The goal of Safe Space is essentially to empower the community to be each other's ally, right? Every time you engage with law enforcement, we want you to be able to request a bystander nearby to come and just be your support system, right? So up here we have Mondo's me, phone on the left, and Mondo's best bud on the right. I'm gonna walk you through how this works. So I'm driving and hypothetically, I see those lights behind me, everybody, might have experienced something like that before, and it's scary, right? For me, I'm terrified every time that happens, right? My heart starts beating. Um, so when that happens, I would press that button. And when I press that button, maybe, all right. <laughs> when I press that button, I press it, and immediately I set my phone down. I don't want my hands on anything, right? Press that button, and then the app starts working for me. Once I press that button, it notifies my emergency contacts. Now, my emergency contacts are people that I set as my emergency allies when I first downloaded the app. So that could be mom, it could be spouse, it could be close friends, whoever. No matter where they're at, they're gonna get notified that I just got pulled over by law enforcement or I'm engaging with law enforcement. In addition to that, it's gonna notify people within a half mile radius. So the goal is, 
to arm the community with this tool, this safety tool, so the people within that radius can come to me and just witness what's, what's going on. So when they get there, I literally just want them to not engage in the situation and just record that interaction. The phone on the right is going to show you exactly what that looks like. So they got the uh, notification from me, and they're going to say, yes, I want to respond. And after they click, I want to respond, I'm, I'm like, oh, yeah, somebody's responding. Somebody's going to come and, and help me in this journey. Um, they're going to say, like, well, where is it? Yeah, they're going to click directions. And they're going to see exactly how to get to me. Oh, it's just a couple blocks away. I'll be there shortly. Right? I feel like it is essential for the community to solve our own problems. Right? We are the solution to these problems. We can't ask anybody else to be the solution. We are already it. And we're hoping that this tool starts to minimize those type of outcomes like Philando Castile. So in addition to this, um, if you're in the interaction, we want to collect some data, right? So when we collect the data, the data is very important. So there's this thing we call safety check. So we're going to ask some questions. So what type of incident is this? This is a traffic stop. And then we're going to say, well, did you feel, how did you feel about this situation? I felt safe, unsafe, verbally abused, physically abused. In this scenario, this hypothetical situation, I felt unsafe. And then I'm going to enter in some data about why I felt unsafe. Well, the reason why I felt unsafe is because the entire time that the cop was talking to me, he had his hand on his gun, right? Now, those type of things aren't going to be captured typically, right? But it makes people feel uncomfortable. So we want to gather that information and figure out how do we make things better? How do we make things feel more safe for the community, right? And then we're going to say, well, what department was that? Oh, uh, well, it was the state patrol. And then we're going to say, all right, well, what was the badge number of that officer? Get the badge number of that officer. So in this situation that I'm talking about right now, this hypothetical situation, it's a negative interaction where I felt unsafe. But in many, many different situations, like law enforcement does do an awesome job. And with this app, we want to be, uh, be able to identify those awesome officers, right? We want to be able to upvote them and say, like, hey, this officer was super respectful or his professionalism was on point or he was very knowledgeable about what he was doing. Because the goal is, how do we give information to the community that we don't have? And to do that, we want to provide data that shows the great officers as much as it shows the officers that probably shouldn't be in that department. Flip side, uh, the responder, they go through the same flow or a similar flow. And they ask questions like, hey, what kind of interaction was it? Um, it was a, hey, what kind of interaction was it? It was a bingo. It was a traffic stop. Um, did you witness the entire event? Yes. Um, do you have video? So the goal is, like, the video is key. So I don't know if anybody really knows, but the dash cam video of the Philando incident wasn't given to the, to the community for 11 months. Now imagine if the lady in that car didn't take that video. We would not have known what happened in that situation, right? Um, so as you can see, we ask these specific questions. They give feedback because uh, the allies are key to make sure that things are going to work. Fast forward, uh, this dashboard that we have, right? The dashboard is here to increase accountability and transparency. Right, so as you can see in this dashboard, you can see like, here's all the incidents that have happened recently. And then on the right side, or yes, on your right side, um, you can see the satisfactory uh, incidents. So satisfactory means that the person that was involved in the situation said, I exclusively felt safe. Right? And then we're able to dig down and see more things like, hey, we can break this down into uh, based on race, based on age, based on gender. We can dig down and really get under to see like, what is actually going on in the community. Um, and then we can also tap into law enforcement. So there's law enforcement tab. We can really reach out and see the cops, like by badge number, who's being upvoted in the community. Because these cops that are being upvoted, I want to know who they are. Because I want to start having conversations with them. I want to influence them to say, hey, can you change what's going on from inside your department and get the community to rally behind them, right? So in short, in closing, like this mission like is bigger than just the tech. The tech is just the tool. There is this disconnect between law enforcement and people of color, and it's fear on both sides. And those fe that fear leads to bias, and that bias leads to unwarranted deaths. Right? So I'm asking you, I'm pleading with you to become a safe space ally. One, download this app. But two, like start having these courageous conversations with people around you because it's all about the conversation. It's all about getting to know that person next to you that you might not know, 
right, that has that different perspective. Like, have conversations to understand instead of having conversations to correct. Our app is built uh, as a native iOS app using Swift. Um, our dashboard is built using React that communicates with the same backend. Moving forward, we want to make this an open source project. Um, we got to get Android built out so we can really support the community. Uh, so I, I'm again asking everybody, please download this app and support Safe Space. Thank you.